Hi Aries, welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, I'm going to look at here what spirit wants you to know. This is dated for December, but I'm going to say it's for whenever you see this. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So if you want to go back and watch past readings, uh, all the playlists are listed below in the description box. Feel free to check that out. So we're going to look here. What do you need to know from Spirit at this time? So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Happy December. Early Merry Christmas. Uh, I'll be putting out probably January readings already in the next uh, two to three weeks. So, all right. So let's see what Aries, need, Aries needs to know at this time from Spirit. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in knowing what decks I'm using also. So tons of information down in the description box, so please feel free to check that out. So we're going to get three oracles from each deck, and then we'll clarify each oracle with um, a tarot card to give a little more of a deeper meaning. So we have the earth magic, we have the work your light here, and then we have the spirit messages, and then we have the animal totem tarot. So, all right, so what does Aries need to know at this time, Spirit? Thank you so much. What messages does Aries need to know at this time? One more. All right. Let's get three of these for Aries. What does Spirit want to tell Aries at this time? What do you need to know at this time? These messages may all intertwine into one big message, or they could be all separate messages. Some may intertwine with each other. So we'll see how this goes. So I always say take what resonates for you, throw away the rest. If you interpret the interpret the um, cards in a different way than what I do, then that's totally fine also. All right, so let's see what's going on for Aries. So we have Eagle Communion. So I may read a little bit um, from, from the book with some of these, depending here. So we have River Movement. So this is about going with the flow, things moving, taking action. And we have Tree Grounding. So this is about uh, grounding yourself, finding your center, you know, even going outside and grounding yourself, spending time outside in nature, uh, even just going near a river or sitting under a tree, sitting on a rock by the lake. I, I know something here, being out in nature and really grounding and centering yourself. So I just want to read a little bit about um, communion there and see what message is in there for you. Let's see. So it says here, Whenever you experience a heartfelt communion with some physical expression of life, plant, animal, human, or anything else, it is only then that you can feel, that you truly feel how your life force is similar to the life force that is all around you. It is only a matter of the differences in form. In essence, and art, articulated into the physical, in essence is articulated into the physical world in a multitude of ways that is the same in everything and everyone, although it manifests in various shapes and characteristics. The essence of the essence is spirit emanating from the core of all things. Communion with nature is essential for you now. Take some time to do an open eye meditation with any nearby animal or plant. Relax your body as much as possible. Breathe consciously and keep your attention on the life form you are communing with. After a few moments, you will notice a sense of the boundaries dissolving, a melding of the I and thou. You may even receive messages or impressions as you find yourself in the flow of unspoken communication. Wow, we have movement here with the river. So I'm getting some of you may need to like, just go outside by a river, by, you know, just outside in nature in general, because this is like communing with, water and trees and nature so some some of you really need to get out in nature so if that resonates for you uh in a certain way then if that's what you feel you need to do if you've been inside too much if you've been you know not getting out not spending time in nature maybe it's something you used to do but you've stopped doing it you know say just walking every day or 
you know, sitting in the park, you know, by water or whatever here that made you feel at home, at peace, then you probably need to start doing that. Or if you used to go on vacation um, or go camping or do something, you know, in nature here, you probably need to start doing that again. Definitely with movement here, you know, some of you may just need to stop walking or exercising or something like that. All right, so we have here Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So again, taking care of yourself, nourishing yourself. Take a break, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So it could be some of you need to take a vacation to take care of yourself for once. You know, maybe this movement is, you know, very, very active, helping friends, family, working, your own family, you know, and really needing to get out and commune, commune with nature, animals, grounding yourself, centering yourself, finding your inner peace and sanctuary, mothering yourself, taking care of you for once and taking that break. And we have here, warrior woman. Wow. <laughs> Have you answered your deepest calling? But I'm, I'm getting here, warrior woman. It's like you are a warrior. You're, you're like always on the go, like always protecting people with the sword here, like always um, on the go all the time, like being that warrior. Or it's telling you here you need to fight. Need, you know, man or woman, doesn't matter here. You need to fight in what you believe in, what you really truly want to do with yourself, your life. For some of you so we have here just ask there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time we are made up of the divine source your loved ones friends guides angels spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you we are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance so if you've been so this could be just getting out and communing communing with nature animals whatever and just praying, meditating, asking for divine assistance, divine help. Pay attention to signs, symbols, animals, things all around you. It's probably uh, divine trying to communicate with you. But all you have to do is ask here for divine assistance. And we have here relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth and you see you know the doves here for peace harmony a um, little bit of green here for like um, growth and expansion it could be that you need to ask for help from friends and family or siblings or whatever here if you you know feel like you have so much responsibility here Maybe you need to reach out and ask for help from people around you, not only from your spiritual team. Then we have here choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. So, I mean, you may need... You may need, you know, you may know you need to make like changes, choices to better improve your life, to take care of you. Um, and it could be just asking others for help. Because, I mean, we have take a break, star mother, needing to take care of yourself, needing to ground yourself. You know, movement could be either you're just doing too much and you're overburdened, or some of you need to get up and stop moving and getting back out in nature, finding your peace. In harmony um, but just know like the choices you make now by taking care of everybody else but you can really affect um, your life moving forward and you'll realize like down the road looking back saying why didn't I ask for help why didn't I say no why didn't I you know spend more time with my family my friends my loved ones instead of being on the go, go, go all the time here. And that could be really affecting your relationships. I don't know, let's see, let's clarify. Let's get a tarot for each one to give a little more clarity. So I do ask Aries if you're new, uh, if you do like my style and how I read, to please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. You can check out my channel, you like what you see. 
Uh, do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on your readings. I do four readings a month plus bonus readings. I'm uh, probably going to start to do element, bo element bonus readings. And I think I'm going to do one uh, a little later this month on um, what's coming for all the elements in 2020. So if you're interested in all that, subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. If you do, thank you so much. And like I said, check out the description box. Tons of stuff there. How to reach out for personal reading, social media, ducks I'm using. Tons of stuff down there. And uh, thank you to everybody who supported the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. So any support you give the channel in any way is truly, truly appreciated. Whether you've uh, tip donated um, as an energy exchange, reach out for personal reading, or just subscribed or liked, shared, all that great stuff. It's truly, truly um, appreciated. Let me take this one. All right, let's see bottom all, uh, bottom energy, overall energy. So we got the star. So this is about healing, faith, hope, optimism, being divinely guided, you know, listening to your inner divine guidance. Um, something meant to be here with the star energy here. So it's all about healing, keeping that faith, hope, and optimism. So, you know, something may need healing in your life. Um or it's just telling you to try to remain uh, positive also. So let's see what this communion is. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. So so there's that earth energy of, you know, being... Pentacle energy is about being grounded, it's being safe, secure, um, and just stable. So really needing to stabilize yourself, ground yourself, getting outside in nature. And finding peace and harmony in animals and nature and everything around you. It's like seeing the light, you know, going out and finding that peace. And feeling so grounded and stable in that energy. So it's kind of clarifying. It can be king or queen here, doesn't matter. Some of you may, may actually have a farm or, uh, you know, like to visit farms or animals or whatever here. So if you haven't been doing that, so you probably should. So we have movement here. So we have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like here, you know, the Five of Pentacles is that energy about, you know, being abandoned, cold, lonely, left out in the cold, uh, neglected kind of energy. So I feel like you're so busy here, movement, so busy, so um, taking care of other people, just always on the go, 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 that people around you are really feeling that lack of feeling like abandoned and lonely and left out in the cold because you're not spending time with them, you're not, you know, uh, talking to them on the phone or, you know, going out to lunch or doing things you used to do, you know, they're really feeling sad and depressed because, you know, you don't spend your time like you used to, you know, maybe, maybe you work two jobs, maybe um, you have family now, you have to take care of your mother, your father, um, you know, all this stuff and you don't have time for the things that you used to. And you could be feeling that sadness over, you know, those things that you miss also. All right. And it could be, you know, you could have monetary lack also. And that's why maybe some of you may be working two jobs also. All right. So we have the sun here with tree and grounding. So, and you see like this, <laughs> I think it's a Lemurio, just like grounding himself in the sun. So exactly getting out in nature. You know, in, I don't want to say in the woods, but, you know, trees, nature, animals, and just basking in the sun and soaking up that energy. And, you know, the sun is all about happiness, joy, peace, contentment, a growth, expansion, uh, happiness, joy, healing energy, as also with the sun energy, uh, the star energy here. So really grounding yourself, finding that true happiness getting back I feel like getting back to doing the things you love being outside or whatever here really doing what you love feeling total happiness and joy again in that grounding energy and also that healing energy all right so we have here star mother how can you mother yourself so we have the knight of pentacles now the knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy but he's very uh cautious he's very practical he's smart analytical you know, he plans everything out. He just doesn't go on a whim, you know. So, you know, you may be very practical here, but um, you need to take care of yourself also. 
Again, with the Knight Pentacles is all about monetary career work, you know. So again, you may be working a lot, um, but you need to also take care of yourself. You know, planning out which ways, how can I divide my time, being practical, how can I take care of myself, and also do the other things I need to do here with the Knight of Pentacles energy so I can gain back my stability. All right, so we have here, take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. We have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords here is an energy of like, very, uh, can be egoish energy, getting ahead at all costs, you don't care how you do it. So whatever you're doing here, like the, the need to feel, to be like on the go, 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 I gotta do this, I gotta do that, and you know, it's, it, I just have to do it, and I don't really care. Not that you don't care, but it's like, it's something you feel like you have to do. And well, you know, whatever happens, happens, but this is telling you it's time to get out of that energy and take a break. Take a break. I really feel like some need to also go out on vacation here and take care of yourself, pamper yourself for once. So we have warrior woman. Have you answered the deepest calling here? And we have the knight of swords. So, wow, that's like the same energy. So the knight of swords is a very fast paced, rushed kind of energy, kind of like a rebel kind of reckless sometimes. So again, I feel like being on the go in that Knight of Swords energy, like go, 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 like always on the go. You never take a break. You never stop. And now it's like, you know, just, just clarifying that energy. Like somebody always, always like a warrior woman, always, always on the go. <laughs> All right. So now we have just ask and we have the eight of cups. So the Eight of Cups, you know, usually talks about walking away something unfulfilling, but you could always walk to something more fulfilling. So, you know, this is about just ask uh, for help, assistance, spiritual world, spiritual field, your spiritual team, but also your friends and uh, family, loved ones, co-workers here. So I feel like here, you know, if you just ask people to help you, you can walk away probably from some responsibilities that you have that you could probably take off your plate and, you know, hand them out to other people that can help you. And don't be afraid to do to walk away from things and say, you know, I can't do it anymore and asking for a helping hand here. It's okay to do that. To say no, just to turn your back and say no, just I can't anymore or whatever here or asking for help. So now we have relationships in the world. So, you know, there may have been uh, some relationships that have come and gone, but they've always come into your life for a reason because the world is all about completions and new cycles. So, you know, there may be people, relationships, close friends that you may have closed up cycles with that you don't really um, talk to anymore here, but just know every relationship in your life was for a, a reason and a purpose. So just, you know, knowing what those reasons and purposes were, the lessons you learned, whether they're good, they're bad, whatever here, just know every relationship you've ever had has served a purpose in your life, whether they've closed out or they continue to grow because the world is all about growth expansion, but it's also about, it can be about traveling. So maybe you have to travel to see uh, some, you know, close people that you have. That's the only way you can um, see them. Or some, you know, relationships have actually closed out and, you know, now you could be getting having new relationships. But just know everything happens for a reason. It can be a reason, a season, a lifetime um, here. So just know that the world energy here. So just know, <laughs> really think about know if you wonder why, why did this happen? Why did that happen? There's always a reason. So... Um, Think back, you know, what would, you know, what was the reason? What was the cause? What lesson did I learn? Like I said, good or bad. And that's with the world energy. So, so we have choices and we have the eight of wands. So this is about communication, you know, travel, taking action. Um, and that sort of energy, very fiery, passionate kind of energy. Again, I get this energy of, you know, maybe you need to think and really look at the choices that you're making, you know, being like on the go, go, go like this horse all the time, um, you know, and, you know, just know the choices you make now can really affect your life moving forward and in the future. Like I said, you may think back and say, why did I make this choice? Why did I do this? 
why did I think, you know, act so quickly on this or that when I should have taken my time or, you know, thought of a different way or, you know, a different solution here. Don't be so quick to like jump on something or uh, answer a call on something or whatever here. Just really think back. Just really take time to think and reflect on your choices, your answers moving forward in the future. Wow. Okay, Aries. Well, I hope. Let's see what's under the star. So a lot of messages here. So I hope they resonated for you. Or like I said, maybe some did, some didn't. Take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. But good luck to you. And I'm sending you much love, light, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.